Hey everyone, this is Jules. I am sharing a card with you guys today. Um, this is actually a Wilder Good Crafts project. I am back in the swing of things and I'm excited because I was able to dig back into my Wilder Good Crafts stuff. And um, so I made my mom a card because it's her birthday today. I was able to do this in a matter of about a couple of hours this morning, early this morning. And I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So I used some... Uh, Vintage Findings by Making Memories. Um, it's an 8x8 paper pad and I used um, this floral, beautiful floral paper and I showed in the video. I used some ivory cardstock um, and some of that same paper and I just lined it up against the flap of the envelope. This is the Myra envelope and just cut out the same ornate shape that was on there already and did some stitching there and some stitching right here um, along this side. What I did uh, want to do is create something that's very shabby, something that has a vintage feel to it. So I added some uh, lace that I don't think Wild Orchid Crafts has anymore, but I had some and I wanted to use this particular kind, eyelet kind, but I will be linking some of the laces that I would use. I didn't want to do any like clumps of flowers like you know a lot of shabby chic projects tend to have that feel of just extreme florals and flowers and roses and stuff I didn't want to go overboard with it um, so what I ended up doing is doing one of these little beehive blossoms in the white organza and some of the seam binding that I crinkled myself and some silk um, ribbon in burgundy because there was that burgundy color in the paper back here using a burgundy little mini rose and some tiny little uh, closed roses for the bodies of the butterflies uh, that's uh, from a little punch out. Finally got to use the cameo, never got to use any of the cameos quite yet from Waldorf Crafts so I was um, excited to be able to use it for this project because it's just totally girly and it's totally my mom. Um, used a stamp from Magnolia Stamps that is super cute, it's tiny though. Um, it just says, may your day be special. Um, instead of using the typical happy birthday, I wanted to uh, just do something that's a little bit different. So, yeah, this one's a different different kind of card. And I was inspired by a card. Um, I can't remember what magazine it is now, but I remember seeing the um, My Road envelope painted and distressed like it is um, on, used on top of it with some lace on the side. So that's where I got that from um, with some magazine. And then I just kind of took it and made it my own with a paper doily from Wilder Good Crafts. Um, they have these packets. I think they, yeah, 20, 20 of them come in a pack. And so I stamped that, added some flat back pearls in the burgundy. I think it's a mixed red self-adhesive pearls. I'll have the links to all the stuff that I use. That's Wilder Good Crafts over on my blog with detailed pictures. And um, what I did is I used some craft card stock. Just a regular craft card stock and, and using some paint, except for the card stock. Distressed it and tore the designer paper so here comes the video tutorial so you can see exactly how I put it together um, again links of everything that I used is over on my blog with detailed pictures thanks so much for watching you guys enjoy the video so here I'm starting off with an eight and a half by eleven craft cardstock paper I just folded it in half because I don't know the size that I want quite yet the Maya Road envelopes are all different sizes and I have these over on my blog if anybody's interested in purchasing those. Um, so I was looking through to see which ones I wanted. They have three different styles. They have rectangular, they've got square, and then one that's called vintage edge uh, that has really cool little cuts on the side on the flaps. So depending on the ones that I chose, then I end up cutting the craft cardstock, the actual card base, down to the size that I want. So I just trimmed a little bit of it off. And I'm just going to distress all the edges of the card and the designer paper. Um, and then I'll go on from there. I was going to use a already pre-made card that was kind of like an ivory or cream colored card stock. And you'll see like I'm trying to layer it here, uh, here and there throughout the video. I end up not using it and, and later on I do end up using for uh, using it for the uh, sentiment that I did the stamping with so this is some Adirondack paint dauber in white and I'm just doing a kind of a whitewash kind of look um, just to kind of help with that vintagey kind of a look to it so this has that little spongy cap uh, where you can you have to press the 
this little, it's like a little button on the inside and it releases the paint. So you, I press it down. That's why I keep t tapping the, my work table with it. So as I push that little button, it kind of helps with the paint coming out. So I'm gonna do the edges of the My Road envelope that I chose. Then I'm gonna do some tear marks or tearing uh, of the designer paper. Just doing a little curling of the paper. Uh, you tear it and you fold, kind of fold it over. I like to do this and I stitched a zigzag and a straight line across that edge that's gonna be showing on the card. So I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces off of the designer paper and that pre-made card, that card stock. And just to add some little bit of layering, I do end up, uh, I, I did get this from the card that inspired me. Um, she used, I think it was fabric. So I just grabbed the paper that I already had and did a couple strips there. And I do do a stitch mark between the two pieces there. So I'm just gonna trim it off to match the shape of the original envelope. Just there. Very easy to do. And I did stitch it right. I just took that entire envelope over to my sewing machine. So you can see a little bit of it there. And I love the look of thread hanging out. So I didn't trim it all the way down. And this is the eyelet lace that I got from Walter Cross quite a bit ago. And I did a ruffled look and I was glad that it was longer than the actual envelope because I like that unevenness. So I'm just going to tack it down with some hot glue and, and it stays on very, very well. This is the silk burgundy ribbon. I'm just going to tie it along the edge there and this is just going to add the one pop of color. The burgundy uh, that, well you can see the burgundies and the pinks and greens on the designer paper. And I'm going to crinkle my own ribbon to kind of get my seam binding actually to give a vintage look. So I spray it down with water, then I pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch. And then I just leave it alone. I don't even open it. I let the, the heat dry it and it opens kind of by itself a little bit. But it stays very wrinkled so I like that. So you can make your own crinkled vintage kind of ribbon with all the colors that Wild Orchid Crafts has. I tend to go with white a lot or cream because uh, I can color it myself going to tie a bow and I'm just adjusting it just scoot scooching it up so that the bow is kind of towards the top part of the envelope I'm just wrapping it around because I didn't like you how it was tied <laughs> so I'm just going to do one bow and this is the piece that I was going to use for the sentiment I end up cutting it a little bit like a like a flag, but then I realized, wait a minute, I didn't even stamp it, so I don't even know if it's gonna fit. So then I just I set it aside after a while. So of course I didn't use that piece. <laughs> I'm just gonna tack that seam binding down so it stays put and doesn't doesn't move around. And that is a organza beehive flower. going to add more ATG adhesive to the designer paper and situate it where I want it. So now I'm going to stamp the sentiment and that is from, oh my god, it slipped my mind. <laughs> It, I'll put it, I probably already mentioned it at the beginning of the video. I'm sorry. I'll put it up right here to an annotation. I completely forgot what they're called. What's the company? Goodness gracious. I hate when I do that. I'm getting old, you guys. <laughs> I forget stuff. I normally have a list here, but I didn't even do it this time. It's crazy. So I did, I stamped the sentiment on that other piece of paper and, or card, cardstock. Then I cut it out uh, with that, the chevron edges. And uh, that just looks like a little banner. So um, I 
I do like using that and using that style for my sentiments. Either I'll use some like a Spellbinders label or a paper punch kind of label or I'll cut it like a flag like this looks like. So I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive. These are itty bitty squares and I'm using two at a time for every corner of the sentiment piece there. And I'm going to do a little whitewashing of the paint on this as well. So it kind of goes with the entire card. I forgot I wanted to glue that down first before I put that down. So yeah, I put glue down on the designer paper first and then that way I can just situate the card where I want, or the envelope where I wanted. I tuck these down so it stays closed. My mom didn't even, I know that she's not gonna open it and use it, so it's just for the look. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through the whole card and tack down a, like the laces and the edges of the paper, whatever parts seem like they just need some extra adhesive, just to make sure it stays in place. And I changed my mind. I was gonna use that two tone that's down there on the envelope, and I end up going with a solid burgundy. Again, with the pops of that color in there. So that is, I'm going to add something to the bottom right side here. I have a little piece, a scrap actually, of lace, the same lace that I ruffled on the edge there. And I'm just going to pleat it using my hot glue gun tool to press it down and make sure that it stays flat. And then I want to use that for my cameo. And I use a small paper punch that I believe is EK Success. It's a tiny little butterfly. And I'm going to use these little rose buds for the body of the butterflies and just use a couple of them on this card. wasn't sure at first where I wanted it until um, I sat it next to the cami and I figured, yeah, that's where I want the one. And glue that all down. Put the little butterfly down here too. And one up there. So that's basically it, you guys. Here's the card. So there's my card. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And... Um links down below to get to my blog and links to all the products are over on my blog post and um, if you have any questions let me know i'll talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching jewel sending out from the jewel box for waldo crafts bye everyone